Welcome back to another unboxing video. If you just, hello. And welcome back to another Paul's Aquariums unboxing. Yes, I am Paul. Just joking, we weren't actually paused then. We have, what have we got? We have four boxes of fish to unbox. Exciting things, there are fish for me. We're gonna unbox fish for the shop, which is the aquarium shop here. Okay, first box is not fish. That's kind of weird. We have tissue culture plants in a box. What have we got? Crypt plants, crypt plants, lobelia, rotalia. So lots of crypt plants, rocks of retalia, more and more and more. I think there's more as well. So if you haven't had tissue culture plants before, that's what these are. Just means they're grown in a lab. So little tiny bit of plant grown in a sterile environment. No algae, no anything. Is it plant? Plant and food for the plants. There they are. They look pretty good. They're actually a decent amount of plant. And I think the crypt plants, Looks like a lot of plants in there. So that's pretty cool. Lots of them. To the next fish. Did I just call plants a fish? These lovely plants are, oh, what are they? Neon Tetris. <laughs> we have neons back in stock. Didn't have them in the last video, which is kind of weird because they're usually all in the unboxing videos. So if you like neons, scream really loud right now. Neons. neons. We have lots and lots of neons. I think there are a couple of bags of those and cuts. So, oh, that's jumping. We have fantail goldfish. There's some cool fantails in there. So calico fans, red and white fans, some with blue on them. A couple of black moors. I think there are a fair few bags though. I'm not gonna take all the bags out, but there is another bag there. More fantails and a few more. So a little five centimeter fantails. Fantails are a goldfish. So obviously from China, cold water. They'll get big. So they turn into like a rugby ball with fins. It's a rugby ball with fins. Blue panda guppies. We have not had blue panda guppies for a couple of weeks. Only males. If you saw at the start of the video, we did get 400 male guppies and female guppies in late, late last week. After the last video uploaded, all the guppies arrived and some awesome angel fish. So lots of guppies, lots of angels, and these, which are blue panda. There we are, can you see it? Blue panda guppies. So blue panda guppies, as we've had before, are a dwarf guppy. Stay small, super awesome. If you want something blue and pretty, that's me. And that was all in that box. We're going to box number two. Two. Scream every little. It's, it's like the Box number two. Back number one. They are long fin bristlenose. Looks like a mixture of albino, calico, and a few normal long fin bristlenose. They could be that big. They stay small, they are peaceful, they have really nice long flowing fins. Technically long fins, and that's why they're called long fins. It's a true story. That is cool, look at that. These are the black ghost knife fish from South America. Usually they're black, but these are the cow patterned ones. I am growing some of these up at home. No one doesn't have as many cow patterns, but the cool thing with them is they develop more pattern as they get older. So I took a few home that weren't that great. One had a little spiral tail. That's a spiral tail. And they've got more spots now that they're getting bigger. So black ghost knife fish or the calico ones or the new cow ones as we're calling them, they will get a decent size. They get around 40 centimeters, maybe 50, 60 centimeters. One checker barb, one checker barb in a bag. We have Cooley Loach. If you haven't seen Cooley Loaches before, they are super cool. Loach is like a little catfishy type thing. They're wiggly, they have stripes. Very cool, very cool. Peaceful community fish. Sort of Southeast Asia. We have, looks like one bag. Okay, we have multiple bags of balloon mollies. Balloon mollies are a normal molly fish. If there is such a thing as a normal molly fish, but they've just been line bred to be round and fat. <laughs> so it gives them that balloon look. These guys are just round, round and enjoying life. They are a Mexican fish, tropical. You want them between 22 and 26, 28 degrees. Like a bit of salt in the water, high pH. Lovely mollies. That was box number two. Box number three might be my fish. Ah -ah. 
box number three. What are they? They are Golden Dwarf Cichlids. Ooh, we have not had these for a while. Decent size. Oh, oh, males and females. Golden Dwarf Cichlid, South American Cichlid. Super peaceful, super small. Get about the size of a ram. If you haven't seen a ram, gets about five times the size of a neon. If you haven't seen a neon, half the size of a molly. If you haven't seen a molly, just look at the last fish we unboxed. <laughs> Easy to breed, lovely. Called golden because they have a bit of gold on them. Called a cichlid because they're a cichlid and they're a dwarf because they're small. It's all the names. We have some barbs, looks like striped barbs. Decent size, Asian fish again. They will get pretty chunky. They're around that 12, 14 centimeter size. So if you want something that's a little bit different, schooling, great with sort of medium size American cichlids. Okay with things like silver dollars, sharks. Okay with angelfish, even though they will get quite big. They're not aggro, just big and chunky. Ooh, they're big and chunky. Oh, they're cool. These are lemon Oscars. A bit hard to see in the bag because of the murkiness, but I think there is a couple of bags of those. Yes, there is. So lemon Oscars, a line bread color of a normal South American Oscar. Look how cool that one is. I'm sure you can see them on the screen. But yeah, they are a line bred South American cichlid, as you can see there. We'll get big, like easily 30 to 50 centimeters. We'll eat all your fish if you've got little tiny fish. If you've got lots of big fish in a big tank like I do, there's some Oscars there. No lemon Oscars in that tank, but I do have some growing up. Very, very cool. I think these guys at a decent size retail for around that $40, $45 price range. What have we got there? They look like Cardinal Tetris. Hey, Cardinal Tetris, like a neon, but not. <laughs> Cardinal Tetris have got that full red belly to them. They look decent, they look healthy. Yes. And this is just a sneaky extra bit. We did get 60 female better fish, lots of koi females, lots of fancy females, which aren't koi females. They're all available as well. So just very quickly, here they are. <laughs> but talk to me on social media if you want some of these awesome, awesome fish. Another Asian fish, these are gouramis. These are pearl gouramis. So as they mature, the males will get red and orange under the throat. Another name is lace gourami because their back little fins are lacy. Not lassie, but lacy. They are lassie. No, wait, they are lacy. They're not lassie. Cut. That was box number three. Going to box number four. Four, four, four. There we go. These will be my fish. First bag, we have some catfish. Aren't they cool? So these are hoplo catfish. They are from South America. They are bubble nest builders. Sort of like your better fish and that. They build the little foam nest. This is the foam nest up the top because they build it at the surface and away they go. I do want to breed them again. I haven't kept them for years. There's some very cool albinos around. I am keen on some albinos, but unfortunately, these are just normal ones. African cichlids. I only got a few of these. These are, what are they? They are your white lip meduka. Meduka? I have not kept them before. Hopefully we'll have a couple of girls and some boys. Hard to tell in the bag. But yes, I'm getting back into breeding Malawi cichlids. Very cool fish. That's what an adult one looks like. They're blue, high pH, Rift Lake cichlids. If you haven't seen Rift Lake cichlids before, very cool fish. Champsia chromis. Unfortunately, I ordered six and two are not okay in the other bag. These are Champsia chromis spherulincus, which I used to keep and breed maybe 20 years ago. Very cool fish. Again, they are a Malawi cichlid. Get about that big. That's what they look like. Lovely. And that, I think, is about it. Oh, no, wait. These are not mine. <laughs> Whoops. These are for the shop. You should buy these. These are desert gobies. Desert gobies are awesome. So these are an Australian native and they will live in a low pH, high pH, a cold temperature, a warm temperature. They will tolerate a huge extreme. So as long as you slowly acclimatize them to your water, very easy to breed, very cool. Very hard to tell the sex of them on the bag, on the bag, in the bag, because they lose all their color. But the males will look like that, and the females like that. It takes them a few days to a week to color up. 
we will do our best to be able to sex them for you, but oh, it looks like there's a couple of girls with eggs that I can see in the bag. Very, very cool fish to breed if you want. Nice Australian native fish that you don't really have to heat in Brisbane. There you go. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up so I know. That would be wonderful. If you'd like to watch my garden, why? I got a horseradish. Meradish. If you'd like to watch more unboxing videos there and subscribe thing there, we will see you in the next video.